Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Chinelo, and yes, this is Chinelo's Corner. So guys, I trust everyone is doing great, yes, a happy new year to you once again. So we are still in the month of January, so continue to say happy new year, because our expectation for the year 2022 is for us to keep celebrating. Thanking God for bringing us into the year 2022 and keep celebrating, keep testifying of his goodness, keep testifying of life. Yes, keep thanking him for life. So guys, I say welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, you are welcome. A big welcome to you guys. Yes, thanks for stopping by and trust me, you will love this channel. You will love this family. Yes. If you are new, I say a big welcome to you once again. And please don't forget to subscribe. Yes, don't forget to subscribe. Yes, give this video a thumbs up. Yes, you like. That's how you give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe. And also, while subscribing, hit on the post notification bell that you see there. In order for you to always get notified whenever a new video is being posted here. And to many new subscribers, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for always being there. I always see your comment and it gives me joy to see your comment because it makes me feel that yes, you are there for me and it gives me an encouragement to continue. Yes, thanks for loving my video. Thanks for always coming back. Thanks for always supporting me. I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And guys, for today, yes, we will be making coconut chin chin once again and not just coconut chin chin guys i'm making ginger chin chin that's the main reason for producing this video yes i'm making ginger chin chin but i'm adding coconut chin chin to it once again and the reason for us making or frying this chin chin is because we were to travel to ondo and um, i and my friend mary had to do something that the kids love we everyone loves it yes everyone enjoys coconut chin chin but this time we are adding a new flavor to it which is ginger chin chin so we are moving to the kitchen first off we we'll start off with the ginger chin chin and then our coconut chin chin guys if you have to try out making ginger chin chin don't do it too much as in don't add too much of it because it will spoil it it will make it bitter so let's move to the kitchen and see how we made us you can learn from that you can learn and make yours so we are making coconut chin chin once again for those that have not seen how it's made and does not know that it's a real good snack here it is for you once again so without wasting much time let's dive into the kitchen and start off i and my partner mary So guys, I have flour, I have fat for baking, milk powder, milk flavor, and also I have um, liquid milk here also. As you can see, our chin will be very rich with all this milk everywhere. Then I have sugar, I have nutmeg. And I have preservative here. I have baking powder. I have cinnamon powder and salt. I have egg. And here is our coconut. The back, the brown peel has already been taken off, sliced into pieces for blending. Then here it has been blended already, as you can see. So I'll, for the ginger chin chin, I have ginger here. I'll go ahead to peel and blend. Here is the fresh ginger and the powdered ginger. As you can see, the powdered ginger and the fresh ginger already pounded. Then here we are starting with the ginger chin chin. Here is the flour. I'm not making it much so first off milk flavor is going in
then cinnamon powder is going in baking powder pinch of salt a preservative nutmeg then our powdered ginger like I showed you earlier then our powdered milk going in I'm done adding the dried ingredients so I'll just mix together Then I'll be adding a fat alongside other liquid ingredients. So I have to mix the fat very well. Mix very well. Not to allow any, any trace of fat to be seen. You have to mix it well with the flour. So guys next I'll be adding the next which is a uh, fresh ginger remember I've already added the dried ginger so this is our fresh ginger Next, guys, we'll be adding our egg. As you can see, you have to mix properly. Next, guys, I'll be adding our liquid milk. Miss again, continue to miss. Let this time around is getting to the stage of kneading it because it's getting solid. We are adding liquid liquid ingredients, so it will start getting solid. So they are saying we are kneading it at this time. I'm adding sugar. Remember, I always say, like the first video I did, I told you mix your sugar with warm water in order to allow the the sugar to get melted very well. It av it's avoid the, the dough to get sticky if you add your sugar as a powder the dough will start getting sticky because that sugar will not mix properly when you keep your dough thinking you have already mixed it to the, the the way you want it to be you discover that it start getting sticky so I'm adding water right now and that's our last liquid so we have to watch how we add water so our dough does not get over soft it should be it will add water to the, the way we want it to be and the way we want our dough to how stronger we want our dough to be remember if your dough is not mixed properly you find it difficult to cut so you must add your water little by little in order for you to get the right mixture and as you can see our dough is ready we move over to cover it for some time and then start cutting yeah guys just spread out and then start cutting next we'll start frying so yes our ginger changing is almost ready guys
you cut to whatever shape you like yeah whatever shape you like a lot of persons like their chinchin very big a lot likes it small in a small size I like my chinchin to be kind of small because depending on the container you want to use in preserve, preserving your chinchin so if your container has a small opening you want the chinchin to be kind of small in size so that's it guys so we are ready to fry just go ahead to put our oil to heat a little on a little or a medium heat then start frying as you can see our ginger chin chin is frying and guys you love the aroma that comes from this you know ginger has a very nice aroma and yes as it, as it gives your foods that a unique flavor it also has a unique aroma so our ginger chin chin is ready so guys try it out and tell me what you think when you try it out come back and tell me what you think in the comment section and yes guys we are doing justice to this changing with yogurt as you can see flour for our coconut changing is ready and here we'll be adding the dried ingredients as usual and first off we are starting up with our baking powder next our cinnamon salt guys a pinch of salt preservative and our meat flavor yeah we're adding a meat flavor then next we'll add our powdered milk yeah this is our powdered milk going in nutmeg which is our last for this particular one so we are done adding so we are going to mix and yes guys you mix properly like I said earlier I don't add my sugar alongside my dried ingredients because it spoils the mixture and guys fat we are going to miss the fat right now because we are done mixing the dried ingredients and like I said always miss properly miss and don't allow any any fat to be left without being mixed properly into the flour your flour must have absorb the fat and here our egg is already in guys I also continue to miss our egg miss properly miss properly guys it helps a lot miss properly next our liquid milk is going in continue to miss this time we are trying to make a dough here our coconuts yes these are key ingredients for this particular one and trust me guys you love coconut chin chin so yes miss properly then guys next we are adding a sugar yes miss properly we are needing yes we are needing it and want it to get to a particular way that it will be easy for us to cut like I always say this time around you miss properly and then the next thing which is our last will be water and we are to start adding water little by little in order for it to come out well we don't over add water we need as we add water and make it to the way that it will be easy for us to cut if it's too soft or sticky you find it difficult to cut so we'll add water little by little and here guys our dough is ready for our chin chin I'll just cover and allow it to come up a little before I start cutting and guys 
is ready to be cut and fried. So just go on, kneel the little, spread it out and start cutting. Then we are ready to fry. Our coconut chin chin, like I always say, is almost ready. Yes, guys. Let's go. Guys, try this out. Try it out. If you are still procrastinating on frying coconut chin chin, you are missing, guys. Try it out and you will love it. You will love it, guys. You will love it. So, yes. So you can see this time around I'm trying to make the shape longer, a bit longer than the ginger chin chin that I made. I just wanted a different shape here, guys. So we are ready to fry because we have my mouth. And guys, yes, our oil. Make sure your your heat is on a low level that you have to put it on a low or medium heat don't allow it to be too hot or in the highest your chin chin will get burnt guys it will get burnt it will dry with force you should allow it fry on its own then guys our chin chin is ready our chin chin our coconut chin chin is ready so guys like I always say, try it out so and tell me what you think. These are coconuts, chin chin. And I'm also doing justice to this with yogurt. As you can see. Alright, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching and learning as I always say. Yes, if you enjoy watching this video, please, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video is being posted here like this video by giving it a thumbs up and share yes guys that will help you get notified whenever a new video is being posted here you can also go through the other videos to see those videos that i've already posted yeah you will learn one or two from them and guys always comment it makes me see you and get the feeling that you are there for me and it gives me that opportunity to appreciate you. If you don't comment, I will not know that you even passed by. So you should try and comment so I'll know that you passed by. And give you the accolade due to you for always dropping by. Yes, not, not passed by. Dropping by. Because if you pass by, that does, that means you, did, you didn't watch. If you drop by, it means you did something. You watched and you learned. So guys, yes, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will try it out because yes you will love it you will love it you will love it you will love both flavor what the change the ginger changing and the coconut changing so guys try one out and always come back to let me know what you think about it i'll catch you later i'll catch you soon as guys on my next video and guys i have a lot of goodies to show to you from let's say goodies yes i have a lot to show to you from what I did in Ondo, no dull moment. So, see your girl, Chinilo. I was doing a lot. So, I'll be updating you with what and what I did during my stay in Ondo State. So, guys, till I catch you soon, I love you. I love you. And thanks for always being there. Bye.